Peacekeepers have the best supply. Take advantage of PK supply connections. Satisfied? May it serve you well. Keep safe and keep shopping. Citizen. PKs have more and better for everyone. Hey! You feel like having yourself some fun? Were you hitting on me, buddy? <laughs> Not at all. Although... Ah, no, something else. You see what life has done to you? Even your reaction to the word fun proves it. Entertainment? What's that? Playing a guitar? Talking around a campfire? Drinking till you drop? Nobody knows how to party anymore. And people need to unfucking wind Otherwise, the stress is gonna kill you. So, what did I do? I created this great game. Ultimate, because it's one and only and bestest. Fury, because it's fueled by emotion. And the last part, wait for it, Cricket. Ultimate Fury Cricket. Cricket. Yeah. Used to be a sport where you hit a ball with a bat. In my game, instead of the ball, you have... Infected. And what's new about fighting the infected? What's new is that you just make pure fun out of it. How about that? No jobs, people trying to get you to rescue them, no clearing out buildings. You just get out there and take your frustrations out on the fuckers. Wasn't that what certain sports like boxing were always about? So if you feel like it, just step into the arena and pick up the mace. Oh, and by the way, you can earn cash money. Just promise me one thing, bro. Stay away from my brother, Ron. He's a fraud and a bore. He, he tells everyone he came up with Ultimate Fury Cricket, but it was me.
I can't get better. Darn. I'd help you, but I don't know how. <sighs> Thanks. I don't know what to do about it anymore. Some fight. The PKs ambushed your transport. He searched everyone and everything. Eventually, they found the bomb. Someone tipped them off. And they took everything. Don't know. Suddenly, something scared them off. And what? Where are the charges? Hey. Um. They were in the yard. Come on. Maybe they didn't steal all of them. Lucky few. The infected showed up. 
Everyone scattered, probably leaving the bombs behind. Don't know why they didn't steal them. They were right under their noses. Morons. Fucking hell.
Alberto, I have the charges. Wonderful! Excellent! So what are you waiting for? Come back! Here I come. Straight ahead, then 16 more steps, turn left. Dodge the three infected there. Hey, you okay there? Ugh, damn it. You made me lose count. Once more. The bag's there. 13 steps from the entrance. 27. 
Wait, uh, two infected ran in at that point. Damn it. I'll never find it again. Find what? My father's CD. The future of mankind depends on it. The future of mankind? Mm-hmm. That's what my father says. Stellan Borg, a professor of cosmology here at the university. Heard of him? He wrote a famous paper, The Cosmology of Virology. Some next-level thinking. So what's on the CD? No idea. My father left it in a backpack. A bag. I don't know. I haven't checked everything. I was 13 paces from the apartment when two infected burst in. No, wait. Three. Do you want me to help you? Would you? Because I... I couldn't even... I, I mean, I could try. But three infected is too many. They'd kill me. Yeah, probably. Right, so here's the deal. The CD is in my father's bag. Or a backpack. And the bag or backpack is in our apartment at 116 Bell Tower Road. That's west off of Horseshoe, close to Meatpacking Square. And remember, the fate of the human race may rest on you retrieving that CD. Father will pay you, uh, of course, when you bring him the CD. He'll be waiting outside the church. I got it. Oh, and here's a tip. Wait till dusk. That's when they leave. They're packed in there during the day. Five in the hall, then two up the stairs. No, three. I love the smell of smoke. Does it always flash like that? Fuck no, me. No. It'll stop soon. Oh. Pilgrim. There. Go. We spotted specials remember, in the neighborhood. It's Keep your eyes peeled. It worked. It works. You got a problem? A problem? Pilgrim, you gotta help me. I'm in deep shit. Real fucking deep. If you don't help me, that bald thug, my uncle, will beat me. And he's got hands like cast iron frying pans. The last time he hit me, I had a lump on my forehead as big as a horn. Uh, like some fucking rhino. And it came in rainbow colors, too. The horn, I mean. Now, based on your colorful description, sounds like you enjoy it. He'll be fine. Later. Hey, you. you got a problem? A problem? Pilgrim, if Annie's the last... What did you do to make your uncle angry this time? Nothing yet. But I will in a moment. Like any normal person, I took a nap and then boom, I was asleep like a frog in a swamp in winter. The worst part is that the sausage is on the verge of rotting. In this day and age, throwing away good food is a crime. Okay, nearly good food, but it won't give you the shits quite yet. If it's eaten in the next hour, everyone will be fine. Okay, maybe one of them will run to the bathroom. Better than starving. After all, no one is shit so much they stop being hungry, right? But in three hours, everyone's asses will explode like shit geezers. Then comes the puking. My uncle will just fucking kill me, and the rest will feed my corpse to the infected. I'd hurry this food over to them myself, but I still have to prepare the smoker. This stuff doesn't make it. Well, you know what will happen. Show me where to go. Jesus, you can't even imagine how important this is to me. Just grab the food rations on the table and hurry up to deliver them. Something pisses Matt off. Pull the car to now. 
Get moving. Trust them. Can you hear yourself at all? Then why did you do yourself? <laughs> because I asked you to. What are we gonna do my mother now? At least they're not my mother. What are you talking about? Why would you even say something like that? I don't know Just what to get do. Just kidding. Get to her imagination. Spend all your time caring for her. When are you gonna start living your own life? My little girl keeps talking about you. Does she miss her eyes? You're supposed to be discreet. Not go shouting in the middle of the bazaar. Where's your father? There you are. Only two? PKs took the rest. Damn, damn, and triple damn. Because of that traitor, our plan is in danger. We must act quickly. No, oh, nitrates. We need fertilizer. Then we can make more explosives. The old night runners, they've got everything. And certainly all we'll need to make more bombs. I know a guy lives on a rooftop. Friend, foe, uh, depends. Killian, you know him? Well, Hakon's friend, Killian? Yes, Killian. I'll explain how to... Uh, how to... Uh, 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 I know the way, thanks. You said you know where Killian lives. You like what you see, eh? Fantastic! Oh, <laughs> watch out for that, my boy. Bold choice, son. Now there goes a happy man. <laughs> Sometimes I wake up at night and forget the whole thing. Don't even happen. To I dropped and can Then I see the goddamn UV lights. Killian! Killian! It's Aiden! You there? Killian!
There's Hakon. Back then, everyone must have thought BFFs forever. Bingo. Alberto, I have your fertilizer. It's Vincenzo. Vincenzo? I, I can barely hear you. The PKs, they raided my place. I can't talk. The traitor, he sold us all out. Hayden, Dad, went ahead to the windmill. Meet him there. I'll meet you when I can. Just make sure that fertilizer gets to my dad. Okay, I'll do my best. Just come quick. That's a good idea. We have no choice, Aiden. Hurry, please. <sighs> to my dad, I don't know if you noticed, but dad's kind of awkward and unappreciated. This is a chance to show Carl, Sophie, everyone at the bazaar that they were wrong. What dad's made of. What he can do. He'll be the hero of the bazaar after this one. He always wanted to do something big. That's exactly what I'm afraid of. I'll stay with you on the radio. Hello? Vincenzo? Hello? Vincenzo, I, I can't hear you. Look, looking. You have to... What? What do I have to do? Fertilizer. Are you sure you got this? Of course I'm sure. And if I don't know something, I can ask Vincenzo. Ah, the windmill's causing too much interference. The radio doesn't work. Ah. Then I'll figure it out myself. It's as easy as I. And you're certain? He explained everything to me. Relax. We'll do. Me and you will do. <laughs> no reason we won't do just. And Fine. Like I said, easy as pie. The bombs are ready. You're up. Take the charges and secure them to the spots Vincenzo marked for us. Planting bombs. <sighs> What could go wrong? Easy as pie, right? Yes, precisely. Like I said, easy as pie.
need them. We need to see. the plan through to the end.